Hi everyone and welcome back to designing a website in Figma. In today's video we're going to take a look at creating an interactive simple form field component for our website. This is the final result, it's also interactive and let's get started. So when I thought about the pages that are yet to be designed I noticed that there's one that will probably be used for a contact form, right? So I realized that we are going to need a form field component. And since we have been building something like a design system over the course of this series, I think creating a form field component kind of goes hand in hand with a website design system. So, so why don't we get straight into it? I'm going to press T on my keyboard to access the text tool and I'm going to type in interactive form field, right? So this is what I get. Um, then I am going to change this to paragraph text. So when I go to textiles over here and click on these four dots, I'm going to select paragraph body text. So this is what we get now. I'm going to continue by wrapping this inside an auto layout. So shift A, then I'm going to press enter and set this text object to fill container, right? So now when I resize this, you can see how we get this responsive behavior, right? Additionally, let me also adjust the padding. So I think on the vertical uh, padding that could be like 16, the horizontal one could be like 20 or 24. Let's try it out and see if, if we like the final outcome and adjust. Eventually, I am also going to add a stroke and this stroke is going to be black with partial transparency of about, I don't know, 30, 40 percent, something like that. I'm also going to round these corners. So I think I'm going to go for like eight, you know, very subtle. And I think I'm actually going to revert back uh, with the horizontal padding to 16. So this is what we get now, right? This is kind of starts to look as a, as a form field. Now I'm going to rename this to build and then I'm going to take this text object, duplicate that by pressing Alt or Option and dragging, and then I'm gonna type in label, right? So this is going to be our label. And I think I'm gonna use paragraph bold or this, or actually, let me use the tagline, a slightly smaller text. So this label is going to be all caps, and I'm going to adjust that by selecting this label and then going over to advanced to uh, just type settings over here and then go for uppercase, right? So we get this right here and I'm going to select this label, select this field, press Shift A, press Enter and on both of these, I'm going to set this to fill container. So right now this happens. As you can see, both the form and the label is adjusting its height or width actually, sorry, uh, according to the total width of frame 13. That's awesome. That's exactly what uh, we need. I am going to rename this to form field component, form field component. And yeah, this is basically going to be our form field component. So next thing we have to do is actually select this whole thing, turn this into a component because after all, we need this to be a component with multiple variants. And I'm going to, I think, reduce the spacing between the label and the field to about eight. And then I'm going to press command and click this text object, right? And then I'm going to go to content to create a new component property. This one is going to be called form field text and I'm going to press enter. And then something similar with this label, also content, but this time we're going to create a new one. This is going to be called form field label and then additionally, we are going to create another component property, but this one's going to be Boolean. So with this label still selected, let me go to layer over here, create Boolean property, and this is going to be just show label and then true, right? Create. Awesome. So now just notice what happens when I use an instance of this form field component. So let me search for a form field component in the assets panel, dropping it right here. If I turn off the label, this is what happens. Um, I get a responsive form field um, and then so this line over here is probably just a bug. Let me duplicate this. Yep, it disappeared. And then um, I can just turn it off and on uh, this label and then also I can change the label text, right? So label text and I can also change the form field text, right? That's our new component. I'm going to make a few more adjustments, right? So 
First of all, I'm gonna rearrange this so that the show label property is on the top. So when I go here in the component instance, the show label the setup is kind of the first one that I see, right? So um, I'm going to select the component and then rearrange this so that this goes first, show label goes first, form field label probably also gonna go second and then the remainder, right? So it, it's now rearranged, that's great. And we are going to have three variants of this form field component, okay? We are going to have a default state and we are going to have a hover state and then additionally, we are going to have an active or focus or whatever it is called state, right? So that's the state where you actually are actively typing into the text field. Each of these is going to be a bit different, um, especially when it comes to color and appearance. So I, as you can see, I created two more variants. Uh, if you missed that, let me show that again. With this component selected, I pressed this icon and then this plus icon again. So that's how we got three variants. And then I'm going to select the component and go to properties, select the property one, click this icon and rename this to state. Right, so now we have state a variant property and the first state is going to be default. So nothing to change with the first variant. Second variant, however, that's going to be hover. Okay, so state hover, right? Makes sense. And then the third one is going to be state active. Okay, so we are going to have state default, state hover and state active. Now you can see that we can switch between states from the instance and when we actually use multiple of these, so one or more of these um, of these fields. So we can change that here. Now with the first one, I'm going to just select this form field text and reduce the opacity of the fill to about, I think like 40 maybe. And then the stroke is going to be like 20, 30, something like that. Okay, so it's going to be quite subtle. Similar with the text, that's going to be the label, right? That's going to be like 60, I don't know, 60 uh, percent. And actually, let, with the stroke of this, let me go slightly higher, so like 50 or 60 percent. Okay, so that's this is the default state. Then the hover state. Um, that's where we are going to get some type of signal that this is interactive. So let me actually select a color from what we are already using. I think we could use this color for the stroke. If you hover over this form field, you get this appearance. I think we could also change the label to this blue color. Let's see how that looks. Notice how all of these like updated because we updated the hover state, right? So let me change it back to default. And finally, for the active state, I think I'm gonna just, we are just going to take this blue color for, uh, for the stroke for this label that's going to be blue as well but i think we are going to add we are going to add something and that's going to be a shadow so with the field um auto layout selected let me go to effects and add a drop shadow this drop shadow is going to have no blur it's going to have a spread but to enable the spread we have to first select clip content on this field auto layout right so like this then we are going to enable a spread also we're gonna have to add a fill so let's just add a white fill okay so now we can set the spread to different values so let me select x to zero with the shadow y to zero and spread to like four maybe six four probably and then the shadow is going to be the same color as this blue as this blue text so it's going to be also transparent so let's just set this to like 30 or 24 something like that and now here's the thing notice how this form field component is going from looking quite inactive to very much active, right? So if that makes sense. So the more you go down with these variants, the more this form field is basically looks alive, right? So that's very intentional because I'm gonna show that when a user hovers over uh, this form field, he's like halfway through to activating it, right? So that's why there's kind of a gradual come up when it comes to, to how active this form actually looks like. Why don't we actually start enabling the interaction? So I'm going to select the first variant, go to prototype, and then I'm going to connect the first one to the second one. Okay, first variant to the second variant. Interaction details pops up. I'm going to change that to while hovering, change to state hover. 
And for now, let's just keep this at instant. In the future, we might develop this uh, component further, but for now, let's just keep that at instant. From the hover variant, we can go to the active state, but that's gonna happen by clicking. So on click, change to state active. And then what I want to do is select the last one and connect that to the first one and say that on click, change to state default. For the purpose of our website prototype, this is not really how form fields behave, right? So you don't really get a behavior where when you click on the form field and then you click again the, the form field that it deactivates, right? You usually have to click outside of the form field, but I'm not aware of a simple way to prototype this. So I just simplify this interaction for the purpose of this prototype so that when you click it again, it goes back to the initial state. And now let me actually test this component on this page. So I'm going to create some more space for this. Uh, let me also use an instance of this form field. So now we get, uh, now this is what we get. I'm going to make it wider. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to change some of these labels and text. So form field label, actually, can you see how it's at the end? Let me just rearrange that. So that should go before the form field label, like so. Perfect. Um, so form field label. So field one, field one. Form field text is gonna be click and start typing. Okay. And then I'm gonna duplicate this. Select all of these, shift A, press enter, fill container on the horizontal adjustment. It's gonna create a frame. Okay, so I'm going to change the spacing to 16, maybe 20. And I'm gonna also notice how I can now change the size of these form fields because we have been using auto layout. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna launch the prototype and I'm going to go to reach out to us. So here we have a page with these form fields. Um, also one small change, um, that's gonna be field two and field three, yeah total detail, but let's just not confuse ourselves. I'm here on this page with these form fields, hover over these fields, okay? And then I click and it activates and appears to be active basically, right? So there's one small change that I would like to make. I think the text inside of the form is too prominent on, on hovering. I think that could be more like gray. So, so again, something in between this state and this state. So let me just select this and reduce the opacity to 64, something like that. And yeah, I like this variant better. I like this, I prefer this one. So I can hover over this, I can click it, it activates, I can click it again and it deactivates and I can hover again and kind of repeat the interaction. We could even make this shadow more prominent so that we get um, a bigger brand, like four, looks good. So as you can see, you can activate multiple fields. So as I mentioned, this is just for the purpose of this prototype. Um, we set up the interaction in such a way that when you actually click inside of this form field, again, you deactivate the field. So yeah, so this is it a very simple form field, interactive form field for our website. You can take this and use it in your own website design system. We are definitely gonna be reusing this form field in the future on this website that we are creating together. And yep, yeah, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if there was anything unclear. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.